Hi, I'm Cathy Hart of Cathy Graphy and I provide a professional photography and design service and in this class I'm going to be teaching you how to do the first edits and um, settings that you need to check on your WordPress install so let's move on to that. Okay, we've got the basic installation, um, basic theme from WordPress and what we're going to do now is we're going to log on. Generally, some themes don't have the logon details. So what you need to do is type in WordPress, uh, sorry, WP hyphen admin forward slash and click enter. Then you need to enter in your username and the password that you set um, during your one click installation using the GoDaddy <coughs> installation settings, not settings, service from obviously GoDaddy. Oh gosh, getting really tongue tied. So we log in, and this is your dashboard. You've got one post, one page, one category, one comment that is approved, and no spam so far, which is great. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to plugins, installed plugins, and you need to activate, or should we say, update automatically your plugin. Once it's been updated successfully you need to activate it and something that you need is your Kismet API key. Um, if you don't have one you can get one directly from akismet.com you only need one and every blog ever after that point can also use the same key so it's emailed to you and I would recommend that you keep that email so I'm just going to go and get mine so once you've put your um, key into the box all you need to do is scroll down and you will see the update option so once you click that it's updated and the key is all there and it's all accessible which is great and what we need to do is go back to the plugins page and we need to go to settings and general. From here we can change the tagline. Um, I usually leave mine blank but you can input your slogan, your business slogan in there if you wish. You've got your site title, all of the details, the rest of it can be left alone unless you wish to change your date format into a different structure. Um, and also your time fat format into a different structure. I generally leave these perfectly alone because there's no problem with it. Click save changes and that's all sorted. The next biggest thing beyond a kismet is you need to have the correct kind of permalinks. At the end of your domain name each blog post will usually come up with the question mark p equals and the ID number of the blog post itself. Now, when a search engine comes to this, it cannot tell you what your blog post is about because it's just a bunch of numbers. However, if you select day and name as your um, common settings permalink, it will be able to tell, okay, this post was done in 2011, it was done in February 25th, and that you've got the general keywords that are in your post title. So I will be explaining more about that at another date. But that is what you need to have as your permalink setting. That way your search engine SEO, which is search engine optimization, will be of a higher ranking purely because you've done the permalink settings correctly. So day and name. And that is it for today's lesson. And I'll be back tomorrow showing you a bit more. Thank you.